Well, hey there, friends. It's still January. How are you doing? Uh, It's Wendy. And before we get started in today's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast, I wanted to share with you a little bit about my friend Leanne Presley and her amazing team at Stitchcraft Marketing. Now, Leanne was on the podcast, episode number 160, as a guest talking about social media. And it was such a great conversation starter. We had so many conversations inside our groups about uh, what Leanne had to share in that podcast episode. So I'm going to encourage you to go back and look at that. The thing that is unique about Stitchcraft Marketing and why I really want to introduce it to you is that they're a niche agency. They service only companies in the craft space. So I know a lot of you listening out there are in the craft space marketing. They specialize in social media strategy and execution. So if you're one of those shop owners who are constantly struggling to get your newsletter out, edit all those video clips and jump through all the hoops that I know that we all have to do in order to get our marketing done. And you just maybe want another person in your corner to help you manage all of those things. Stitchcraft marketing might be a really great solution for you. So you can find Leanne's services and her team. And she again has a great, great team behind her and her full list of services and examples of a lot of the work that they've already done with other craft companies and brick and mortar companies over on their website at stitchcraftmarketing.com. I really wanted to mention Leanne today. Again, you can also go listen to Leanne on the podcast at episode 160. We had her on talking about social media and it's a great episode that had, we had a lot of downloads with that one and everybody loved it. So I want to remind you to go back and listen to that. So that is the first thing I wanted to tell you. I also wanted to let you know and remind you that the Retailers Inner Circle is open for new members. Inside the Retailers Inner Circle, we equip brick and mortar retailers. It's our global community group program. So it's the easiest access to me. I guess it's easiest access to help and support. We have our full retail made simple course on the front end of that. You do it at your own leisure. We don't make you do it before you can get any other help. Everybody is at different stages. My friends, if this is your year, if this is your year to prosper, if this is your year and you're like, yes, I'm going to get my, you know what together and I'm going to learn how to run this business really well. If this is your year, you're going to want to join us inside the Retailers Inner Circle. We teach, we coach, we guide, we try to really equip you with what it is you need to get your business going. It's a very affordable, a very affordable way to get all of this information. So the Retail Made Simple course is on the front end, very popular this time of the year. We have a lot of members who retake the course. We talk about the CEO, how to be the leader of your business. We talk about financials. We talk about marketing. It was all kinds of sessions in the course itself. And then we also have an entire library of master classes that you have access to to go deeper. So we have inventory and social media, all of the things. We have all of the master classes in there that will help you. So if your intention this year, if your intention for 2024 is to prosper, be more profitable, find more joy, more freedom, more profitability all around the board, if this is your year, hands up if this is your year. I hope you're listening and you're like, yeah, this is my year. (laughs) I want to invite you to join us inside um, the Retailers Inner Circle. If you are a member and you have maybe just gotten busy and you haven't jumped back in, or maybe you have, maybe you've been really active, come in and say hi and join and continue the conversation and let us know what you're most looking forward to this year like what is your big audacious goal i know we've been talking a lot about goals and dreams and plans and you know all the things that we want to do in 2024 let's make them real let's make them real so on that note today's podcast episode is what we that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about maybe not going too crazy we want to take baby steps and i know that sounds kind of i don't know what the word is but maybe the word is We don't want to slow you down, but I don't want you to take too big of a chunk off. So we're going to talk about that today on the podcast. Let's get going. Running a retail business doesn't have to be so hard. Welcome to the Creative Shop Talk podcast, the go-to podcast for creative shop owners, studio owners, and independent retailers. 
I'm your host, Wendy Batten, retail business coach and mentor. Each week, I'll share simple, proven business strategies, inspiring stories from fellow retailers, and advice from industry experts. Together, we're going to work to find the success you want from your retail business with more profits in your till and a little more joy in your life. So I have another client who wanted to up grade or level up her financial literacy. She wanted to leapfrog through all the data. She's like, I'm ready. I want to know what levers do I need to pull? What numbers do I need to measure? What is, you know, just give it to me all. But she had no record, like no behind the scenes. Like she was just trying to take a big chunk. So we decided to start with just understanding the, the lingo and all the words and what does, you know, what does everything mean? So I literally, we just started with that. Inside our retailers inner circle, we have an entire library of financial literacy and what, you know, what we want to look at. And so she just literally started with that, her first habit, her first bite, her first action, one action at a time so that she could start developing the habit of becoming better at her numbers. And that's actually where we are. She did the, she worked through the numbers, understanding the financial literacy. Then she started looking at some numbers, at some numbers from her POS system and from her inventory. And now she is progressing through the next step, like the next action, the next action. So I just wanted to remind you to start small, think of everything in bite-sized pieces, baby steps. And again, success is the product of daily habits. So making it a daily habit for me to lift my weights, making it a daily habit for you to what? What do you need to do? So maybe it's a daily habit for you to start making sure that you're paying attention. You're not just ghost posting on your social media. That's something a lot of people do. So the habit of that, and what I mean by that is maybe you just batch all your social media, but you're not in there interacting or engaging with your people. So that's actually an action that one of my retailers is doing. She's scheduling 10, 15 minutes a day to go in and comment and talk to her people, engage and nurture. And I know we talk about that in other podcasts as well too. But I just wanted to remind you that 180 degree turn is too hard. We don't want to completely change everything. We don't want to take the whole bucket of our shop and dump it upside down and try to re rebuild it. You know, if we hindsight is great, right? If we could start redoing our shop from scratch and if you're just starting your shop you know you're going to want to maybe learn some of the things that we wish we, we had done better I know there's retailers out there right now understand what I mean but like there's things that we wish we had set up our maybe our cash wraps different maybe the way we let lay up our shop maybe the way we're doing inventory maybe not having a POS system you know start with the POS system start you know start the wishy way the way you wish to proceed but you didn't know so we're trying to like upset the cattle, what do they say, upset the the apple cart and redo everything. It's such a big project and it's really hard to do while you're maintaining business. Another client of mine is trying really hard to be kinder to her staff. She's not an empath. <laughs> She's not, and I, I don't mean this in, in, a, in a mean way or whatever, but she just does not understand why they don't just do their work and and we all if you work with people and you have a big team you know what I'm talking about so her literal her goal over the last six months has been to be nicer to her staff so just taking one action at a time was just to understand and acknowledge you know we identified that acknowledging what her people are doing right and commenting on that and you know so that's how she started she just started with one action and getting in the habit of really acknowledging what people are doing right in her team, which they did a lot right, and she loves her team and all of that. But it was just really hard for her not to just come in all bossy, (laughs) bossy pants, you know, being all that bossy leader. So that's just an example of a habit that she had to take on herself and change because she wanted to have a happier, healthier team. She wanted to communicate better and she wanted to be a better leader. So what do you have on your I want to do better list? When we, if any, if you you took our design your best year challenge or design your best year ever workshop, there was a list of skills that you had to rate yourself, which I will say brought a lot of conversation in our groups, in my mastermind groups, in my, inside the retailers inner circle for those who have already done that. If you haven't done it, there's still time. You can grab the design your best year, retail year ever workshop. It's available if you're not a member 
um, on my website. It's also available in the library for free if you are a member of the Retailers Inner Circle. So you're going to want to do that if you haven't done it yet. If you've been kind of taking it slow this Jan January, you're going to want to do that. But ten of like we had some different areas of our business, you know, and it was about being the leader. Uh, how is your team supporting you? What's your financial literacy? What's your inventory management style? Like, you know, where do you want to level up? Are you running your dream shop? Are there things that you need to do differently to run your dream shop? Your sales, are, is there a sales and marketing strategy in place? Do you have brand loyalty? These are the questions that we were asking to rate yourself and to maybe work on. And these are some of, these are some big goals. These one might, might want to shake up, you know? <laughs> so I don't want you to give up on making those changes. I don't want you to give up on the desire or the direction of what you want this year. But I do, and, and I don't want to fluff it off at all, I do want to remind you that we have to take things at a certain pace. We have to take things at a manageable bite size pace. One action, one step at a time. And that's how we stay in the habit of doing these changes. That's how we get things done and the progress that we want to see. So I want to encourage you to, you know, maybe look at the next 90 days. So the first quarter, January, February, and March, what is a habit that you want to make a change in one of those categories or whatever category you've decided you want to make that change? What's a habit you want to do or an action you want to take? And and be realistic about it. I set goals in that way, set goals. And I want to make sure that on the daily, I Look at my numbers on the daily, I, whatever it is that you're working on, I'm nicer to my staff, whatever that thing is, one action at a time. So what is your next tiny step? So identify the change and do one actionable item a day that you can start with or a week or whatever that looks like to you. Small, consistent steps will get you the desired outcome that you want. So hopefully that's been helpful to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Do not forget, this is a fabulous time. This is a really great time to join us inside the Retailers Inner Circle. We have two live coaching groups in January, two live coaching sessions in January, one all about setting goals. And we're going to be talking about, it's a live Q&A for the design your best year workshop. And we also have our monthly round table where you can come in and we discuss all kinds of retail related. Again, we are here to equip you to be the strongest retailer you can be. We are on a mission to help you with more joy, freedom, and profitability for your retail business. So I hope to see you inside. If you are a member, come and join us too. I'm so excited to have you in there. Thank you, everybody. Have a fantastic week. We have a great podcast coming up for you next week. We'll see you then. Bye. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm so glad that you're here to join us this week, and I hope you found value in what we're sharing here. I want to remind you that our website has all of the show notes. You can find it at wendybatten.com slash podcast. Everything that you need to hear about today's podcast is there. Also an opportunity if you need to reach out to me. If I can support you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. So thanks for joining us. Please leave a review, subscribe if you can, and never miss an episode. We hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week. 